Hello oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Steven again. I'd like to do a video and everything. I know my hair is kind of long and everything right now and uh, kind of messy, but I want to do a, a video about uh, coumadin and uh, blood clots, uh, basically any, you know, embolism and stuff like that. Anybody is prone to getting blood clots, especially cancer patients. But um, if you routinely get your blood checked with INR and everything, you should get it checked on time always. Never mess around and wait and have anybody control the system, like your insurance company or anything like that. Always get it, you know, done when it's supposed to be done, when the doctor tells you to do it. I mean, some doctors might skip it in and say, well, we can't do it because your insurance company would deny its coverage, you know, at that time for to check your INR or whatever. Don't do that because by the time they deny your INR testing or whatever, you can get blood clot and, or you can bleed to death. Not, not just blood clot, most likely you might, might bleed to death because what happens is your INR, it changes from time to time. That's why they got to do an INR test. For example, one week you could have a 2.0, you know, INR ratio, whatever. And, uh, you know, whatever your doctor wants you at on your points, then the next week you might have a five point something, which is, in my, I mean, way too high. You could bleed to death in a lot of cases. It depends on your situation. You have a heart valve disease and you have heart aortic stenosis, aortic, you know, uh, fibrillation and all this other stuff. Fancy words, I know, but, you know, it, you know it's a, that's why you got to be seen by your doctor. But this is uh, basically about you know, having your INR checked on time, and no matter what, it, if it all costs or all phone calls, you get on the telephone and you call up your doctor and say, "Hey, it, you know," or your insurance company basically. Then them you call if you have any kind of problems and have them fix it, you know. And uh, even if you have to be billed later on, because your life is much more important than the almighty dollar or the insurance company is trying to save a few bucks. And I know that things getting all messed around nowadays because of this and that and yada, 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 and that we spend too much trying to lower the deficit, trying to lower the cost of, you know, health care spending, you know, but what about the lives that you could be, that could be saved of just one, one mistake on somebody else messing it up for you guys just because a little bit of fraud going on? doesn't mean that you have to be the one the victim and die in the hospital, guys. Yes. I know the bad people can ruin for the good people. Okay, that's what this video is about. I just wanted to share a little bit about a little bit of experience with you. Because I have some experience in this field. Because one reason I have the experience in this field is because my, okay, my dad died of too much. It's bleeding in the brain. Okay, example, he was not on Coumadin, but he was on Plavix. Plavix and 81 milligrams of, shut up dog, 81 milligrams of, uh, you know, aspirin, I'm going to say. Yeah, aspirin, bare aspirin, I think it was. Joseph, that's the name of it. Okay, precisely. And um, I told the doctor what was going on high blood pressure, and he just didn't give his blood pressure pills right. He lowered his blood pressure pills from two a day to one a day, I believe it was. He kept getting headaches. He kept telling me, I called up his doctor myself. And he said, no, keep them on the same milligrams. Don't do nothing about it. It's common in diabetics to get headaches. It's a stupid doctor, man. I'm glad he lost his license. I'm glad he's gone. But you know what? Negligence kills. That's why you got to do, keep up with the doctor appointments, well, and uh, do what you're supposed to do normally, but, uh, you know, just a little bit of something to chew on, that's all. And uh, main thing is, keep your point average, just like, like a diabetic does with sugar. Okay, I know I shouldn't be talking because I drink a lot of Coke. I'm not diabetic knockwood yet, but still I drink a hell of a lot of Coke, guys. But just like when you check your sugar, you're doing like Brett Michaels does. He has to take four injections, four injection, injections a day of a Coumadin. So, uh, on that note, just, you know, that's about it. So, um, 
That's all I have to say, so. Okay. Have a good day, everyone. God bless. Peace.